Hi, my name is Frank Babinick. I'm the fire chief for cities of Coral Springs and Parkland. We're here at Pierce doing our final inspection on our 2016 Impel Puck Pumper. This truck was designed by the men and women of the Coral Springs Parkland Fire Department. We use a truck committee consisting of our members to make sure that they are getting what they need to do their jobs. And I would just like to say thank you for all the hard work and effort that went into designing this apparatus to that committee. We went with the uh, Impel Puck Pumper for a couple reasons. One is uh, the space that it provides in, in the uh, cab. Second is a lot of the safety features that we look to put into our trucks for our firefighters, such as the uh, attack force suspension, the front impact uh, protection that it provides. Also in this apparatus, we put all of our SCBAs externally, so there's no uh, SCBA seats in, in this truck. We're a ALS department, um, so within our cabs themselves, we uh, designed it with uh, ALS cabinets, so all of the gear is accessible to the firefighters as they're uh, getting off the apparatus whenever they're responding to medical calls. This particular apparatus is uh, owned by the city of Parkland. The city of Parkland contracts with the city of Coral Springs to do fire protection, EMS, and community risk reduction services. They own the apparatus uh, and the Coral Springs Parkland Fire Department staffs the apparatus. Within the city of Parkland there's a couple unique challenges when it comes to uh, water supply availability. So this truck is specifically designed to give us the tactical advantages uh, to protect those areas. This truck has, is a puck pump. It has a thousand gallon water tank with a 30 gallon class A foam tank. We went with the Husky foam system and the Hercules calf system to give us the most firefighting power possible out of this apparatus. The compartment space on this vehicle is, uh, is very beneficial. Um, there's a lot of uh, compartment space as we go around the truck. We have multiple tool, tool boards throughout the apparatus, uh, which allow us to safety, safely and efficiently carry all of the tools and equipment we need to do our jobs. Went with the double SCBA storage compartments all the way around so we can get eight additional SCBA bottles on the apparatus. The rear of the apparatus, we took advantage of a lot of the uh, dead space to provide storage for things such as uh, our ladders. We have, uh, we carry hard suction on this apparatus so we used some of that dead space up high to uh, put our hard suction hose and then this also has 200 feet of uh, a booster reel uh, for outside either trash fires or brush fires to, uh, to deal with those types of situations. As we continue around the apparatus again, you can see that there's plenty of storage. We try to take advantage of all of the external space to, uh, to provide for easy access to as much of the tools and equipment as we possibly can. This is one of the compartments here that we'll use to mount our SCBAs. So when the firefighters get off the apparatus, they're ready to go, they step right over and uh, their SCBAs will be waiting for them. One of the reasons we went with the SCBAs ex externally was um, again, from a health and safety standpoint, to uh, keep the carcinogens and toxins and stuff out of the cab uh, post a incident where there's an ideal H environment. So we're not contaminating the cab of the apparatus. Again, this is a good look at the space that's provided within the, the cab and uh, the EMS compartments, forward facing seats and um, 
really a functional and uh, comfortable truck. The city of Coral Springs and Parkland, we have about 150,000 people between the two cities. We cover just over 40 square miles. And the men and women of the Coral Springs Parkland Fire Department are honored to protect those communities and serve them to the best of their ability.